The 2020 census is coming to an end with the October 1st deadline for self-response and field data collection operations. Oskaloosa Development Services Director Sean Christ has been working with the Complete Count Committee in Mahaska County to help residents fill out and return their census forms. Oskaloosa News correspondent Ken Alsop recently sat down with Chris to learn more. All right, and once a decade we do the census in America, and census is happening right now, and you've been leading the charge here in Oskaloosa at least. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that and, and what kind of time frame we have for that yet. Yeah, we're, we're in the in-stretch now. Uh, so the census uh, activities have been going on for, for a period of time. The, uh, the counts have been going on, I think, at least since uh, April of this year. So the last few months, residents have had an opportunity to respond to their census and what they call a self-response opportunity. This was the first year that the, uh, the census actually offered um, new options to respond, which have been, frankly, very convenient, I think, due to the pandemic that we've been involved in. So this was the first year we could respond online through the, the Census Bureau's website and also the first time that we could respond uh, by phone. In the past, it's been simply by, by mail. So, so new convenient options this year, and it's something that we've been promoting uh, for, for a period of time. And uh, you're right, so I'm not a Census uh, employee. I'm not, not uh, involved with the Census Bureau, but simply uh, trying to promote uh, responses on behalf of the community because it does benefit us. So that's something I've been doing for the city and I've also been involved in the county's uh, complete count committee, as they, as they call it. So people might, <clears throat> let's say, we'll just, um, whenever the government wants any information from you, many of us balk at that. Mm -hmm. um, but this does have implications for our community. So can you give us some, some ideas as to how this is important for our community? Yeah, absolutely. And, and you're right. You know, the Census Bureau used to ask a lot more questions than they do nowadays. I think now they've got it down to 10 to 12 questions, um, uh, depending on the questionnaire. Um, in the past, they would have long forms, and it could take you a, a period of time to provide all the information they were looking for. So all of that is in the past and is all done separately by surveys. So what they do for the 10-year census is they ask 10 basic questions. What they're really looking for and what we're really hoping our residents will provide is a count of the number of people within your household. They would like to know uh, the age of each of those individuals, their gender, and then also their race. Uh, I think that's the basic information we hope our residents will provide. There, I think, are a few other questions beyond that. You know, if you're not comfortable with the questions, you can leave some of that blank. I think the more that, that residents choose to not respond to, the greater the chance it would be of your household not being counted. Um, or, you know, in the case that we've had the last few weeks, having an enumerator visit your household to collect the rest of the information. That may mean a difference in funding then for Oskaloosa. Yeah, yeah, great question. It, it would make us eligible for more funding. And what that is, is the federal government has funding that, you know, it, it can be anything from, from uh, you know, set-asides to funding for roads uh, or hospitals or, or a number of public services, um, uh, emergency services, libraries, um, even um, you know, things like, like grants. So all of that funding that, that trickles down from the federal government to the state government to local government is based on population size and, and sometimes a little bit more specific information depending on the demographics of the community or, or makeup. So we want our population to be accurate. You know, they, they estimate, uh, I think the most recent number I've heard is $2,200 per person per year. So over a 10-year period, that's $22,000 per person. So for every person in your household that isn't counted because of a lack of response, that adds up real quick. And you know, we know that you know, we could use all of these services. It's important to us as a community. We could use better roads, better services, better opportunities. And this is a very easy way to make that, that money available to us. So that's why we're encouraging our residents to please respond.